Welcome Libra. This is going to be a general reading. This is a timeless reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Libra, let's get into this. What oracle cards do we have for Libra? What messages do we have for the lovely sign Libra? Great and full. Okay. You also have Call of the Muse. So I think someone's really going to be entertaining you at the moment, Libra. And you also got Will of the Fortune. Um, Wheel of Fortune energy at the bottom the time machine so new things coming in for Libra but with that call of the muse card I feel like someone's coming in to entertain you someone's coming to make you laugh to uplift your spirit that may be someone around you or that may be someone new But someone's going to make your day bright. You have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Okay, Libra. Whatever you're doing on the side, you are working hard and you're paying off. Um, whatever it is you're doing is paying off. Um, and you have you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Yes, Libra. You are a beautiful spirit. Okay, let's get some messages from Tarot. What do we have for Tarot for the sign of Libra? What do we have for Tarot for the sign of Libra? As I was meditating on your energy, Libra, I see clouds, lots of clouds. They were white, fluffy, beautiful clouds. So it could be that you're daydreaming a lot. Maybe you're in your head about things that you want. Or maybe you're traveling. Maybe you'll be flying in a plane. And you're going to see those big fluffy clouds surrounding you. But yeah, what I got was clouds. Lots of clouds. Okay, let's see. Okay, Libra, we got justice. You're stepping into the situation real quick. We've got the Ten of Swords. And we've got the Seven of Cups. Actually, the Seven of Cups came in reversed. But we're going to go ahead and sit that there. We got the Ace of Wands. Okay. And we got the Five of Pentacles. Okay, Libra, what is going on for you? And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, at the bottom we have the Page of Cups. So there may be someone coming in who's really communicating someone with something with you. Um, they're going to bring in a communication to you. And I feel like it's about something that you love or it's, some, it's something that you truly care about or put a lot of life into. Um, that's what I'm feeling for you, Libra. Okay. Now, Libra, I feel like you're coming out of this depression. You're coming out of feeling like you don't have many options to choose from. Um, but you're finally coming into the realization that you are the creator of your own 
um, life of your own inspiration you are the creator that inspires yourself and I feel like you're coming into that realization that nobody can make you happy that you have to come into a situation um, at your healthiest and at your happiest now I'm not saying you have to be all jump happy and and you know glowing from head to toe but in order to come into a situation you have to be in the realization that someone else is not going to make you happy you have to do that that work and I feel like you are coming into that aha moment to where yeah you know, I can make myself happy. I don't need anybody else to make me happy. That's what I'm feeling for you, Libra. And I feel like that's actually the start of a beautiful new beginning for you. Because you're not depending on other people for how you feel. And I feel sometimes you may regress a little bit. And sometimes you may fall back into that, you know, feeling left out into the cold. Um, not feeling wanted or not having it is what you want but I feel like you are really doing the work you are really putting in the effort in creating the person that you want to create Libra I feel like you are creating a brand new you and you're showing up in this reading in a very strong position so I know that you are strong-willed and you are you are doing the work in this situation and all of this work that you're doing is going to come around and that good karma is going to come around and bring good things into your life what else do we have for libra what else do we have for libra We have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you're finding balance. We have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Could be that you're really working on your finances. You're working on your, your career self here. Um, lots of Pentacles in this reading. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Hermit card. And we have the King of Cups. At the bottom of the deck you have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you are really... You're, you've been working really hard, Libra. I can see that in these cards. You've been re really working hard. Okay, Libra. Okay, with the second row, um, I feel like you are trying to find balance. You're juggling so many things in your life. And I feel like you may need to prioritize and may need to kind of hold on to the things that you've got. It could be that you need to watch your spending at this time, which isn't very... Um, it's holidays you know it's the holidays where we're more liable to spend more during the holiday season but I'm 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 feeling that you should you should watch your pennies you should hold on to what you can hold on to um, creative savings and I feel like this nine of swords underneath this ace of wands I'm feeling like Libra you are no longer in fear of what's to come. I feel like you're more going with the flow of things, if that makes sense. I, I feel like you understand that you're being protected. You understand that, you know, the universe has your back, that your angels, your spirits who are around you have your back. And I feel like you are coming into that realization and I've said that a lot in this reading you're that's that's the word that keeps popping into my mind 
you have the realization that you are gaining so much clarity and I feel like you kind of tapped into your spiritual self in order to gain that clarity. Maybe you've been doing a lot more meditating. You've been definitely working on yourself. Um, but I feel like <clears throat> it's actually creating something that maybe you haven't been ready for in the past, but now you're ready for in the future. It's going to bring forward this King of Cups. Um, and you can be male or female, but this King of Cups, he's going to come into your life seeing all these changes that you've done. And it's really going to be so appealing, so soothing. And he's going to be there or she's going to be there to truly give you support and empathy and you know really make things happen in your life that's what I'm feeling and I'm feeling like all the effort all the work that you put in there you're patiently waiting for the situation to come through that's how I'm feeling um, Libra let's get a little bit of advice what advice do we have for Libra in this situation what advice do we have for Libra What advice do we have for you? The world. Yeah, you're coming full circle, Libra. You are ending one cycle and you're truly beginning another. So you're completing things in your life. And you have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you are really working on yourself. And you're taking time with yourself to rest and recover um, from whatever that you're dealing with. And you have the Two of Swords. Okay. Okay, Libra. So I feel like you are... During your rest and recovery, during your meditation... I'm feeling like you're receiving so many downloads during these meditation sessions, if that's what you're doing. Or maybe you're dreaming and you're receiving so many dreams that are so specific to your situation. And I feel like in these dreams, in these meditations during this time, your, your questions are being answered. I feel like you're being guided divinely by your spirit guides, by a higher power, whatever it is that you believe in. And I feel like this, these spirits that are around you are guiding you, they're protecting you, they're supporting you, and they're leading you into the right direction. You have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like all this work that you've done is going to lead into something that's very beautiful very prosperous um, you know just life changing for you that's how I feel I feel like you are building on your resources you're building on your family you're you're trying to leave a legacy behind and I feel like it's a beautiful thing Libra this is a beautiful reading let's get a message from the universe. Let's get a message from the universe to close us out. What messages do we have for Libra? When I'm in alignment with love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Beautiful. Okay. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. Yeah, so I feel like, with the, especially with this call of the muse over here in the oracle cards, I feel like you're really going to be having fun this season. I feel like you are. Someone's going to be entertaining you, Libra. Someone's going to make you laugh. 
Okay. My com my capacity to tune in is the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost beautiful energy Libra wow I, I've actually never picked that card before that's the very first time I seen that card so that's the reason why I took so much time with it because it's never popped out for me before but that's a beautiful message at the bottom you have when I lean on faith of the universe peace becomes real so yeah Libra this season is gonna bring a lot of peace and tranquility a lot of love and a lot of happiness for you so Libra if you enjoyed this reading please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more messages on your situation they may give you more detail and many blessings to you Libra love and light